The Big Show with Night and Day. Any time is a good time for a thick shake from Night and Day. Welcome. This is big. To the Hauraki Big Show. Really big. With Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Oh, g'day, you mad bastards. Great to have your company this Wednesday afternoon. It is the 18th of September, 2024. And you, my friends, are listening to The Big Show. Brought to you by Night and day, Mogi, a stallion. You Greek Adonis, how's life? Yeah, giddy up, you mad dog, you sick <laughs> son of a bee, you scumbag. Get the whip out, mate. Yeah, boy. Give it to you, boy. Yeah, give, give it to me, Mogi. Give it to you. I'm um, going pretty grouse, man. Uh, another all over the show sort of a day here. Yeah, a little bit chilly, which I don't mind. Sure. Um, had the fire on last night. God, that's good times, man. Is it? That is good. Did you make love in front of it? Eden. No. Okay. No, no. Um, I won't tell you what I did do, but it wasn't love making. Okay? Sure. Let's just leave it there. All right, Keezy? Keezy. I know you want to know more, brother, but you can just forget oh, about it. Right? Talk, we'll my, talk about it off air, all right? My, my lips are sealed. Well, what? they are now. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I don't. Uh, tell you what, Keezy. What? Such a good jacket, that one, isn't it? It looks really warm. Cause you get your money's worth out of it, man. Mogi was talking about how chilly it was, and uh, you've got that nice sort of sheepskinny kind of corduroy action going on. And I love that cap. I think it's my favourite one. Needs a wash, though. How's good, life, Keezy? Good to see you too, Jace. Yeah, life's great, man. I can't complain. I've got my nice jacket on that I wear every single day and my dirty hat, so... <laughs> Hang on, I don't have a dirty hat. You do. <laughs> your hat's filthy. That one's... The one he's got on, duh... Is uh is very nice and clean. Is it Deus? No. Is it duh? It's duh. Oh, it's on your brain. This is the one that uh <laughs> that old Pugsan gave me. Uh because he kept giving you hats all the time and I got a bit iffy about it, so he, he gave me this hat. But you know it's a joke hat, right? Because it says duh and you wear it on your brain. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Man. Totally. And it's brown. Look, I, I love a joke, Keezy. Even if it is me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You hey, should tell someone our show sometime. Now listen. <sighs> <laughs> now listen, there's been some big news today, fellas. Yeah. Huge uh, news. So we'll be getting into that next, but let's have a few tunes, shall we? A Just two. F- Foo Fighters to kick us off. And then Rage Against the Machine. Oh, how good. The Hauraki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Yes, indeed. Rage Against the Machine there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Wednesday afternoon. The time is 12 minutes past four o'clock and all as well. But we do have breaking news. This is breaking news. Well, I suppose it's already broken, really, hasn't it? Yeah, it yeah. has. Um, we were talking about it earlier, but... Yeah. The legendary uh, Matt Heath, of course, um, announcing that he's leaving Radio Hodaki. I don't know about you fellas... I was quite taken aback by that news. Mm. I was hugely taken aback by out, it. Out of the blue yeah, comes, is the phrase that comes back, to mind. Back, back. Back, back, back. back. Yeah. yeah. Um, huge loss um, to the station. Uh, one of the backbones of Radio Hodak. Yeah. Mm. Can I put it that way, fellas? Uh, great broadcaster. He's going to be hugely missed. But, of course, going on to bigger and better things uh, as, as he is, uh, good luck to him, I say. Why not? Yeah, good luck to you. That's very generous of you, Jace. Thanks, man. Good on you, man. You're all the best, man. Like Matt Heath, man. You know, once upon a time, little Keezy was sitting there listening to the radio, and he was like hearing Matt Heath, and he was like, man, I want to be a part of that station. Right. And then I ended up on Drive, which I was pretty gutted about, but, you know, to have worked sort of at the opposite end of the day to him. Yeah, near yeah. him. Near yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. to know that I'm in the studio where he sometimes is. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just it's it's been the highlight of my career. Actually, you're totally right there, Keezy. And I I remember the first time I touched him. You know what I mean? When I was started working here, and it was a pretty special moment for How me. How did you touch him? Oh, you... just on his shoulder, and right. it was like, wow, legend! I just touched a legend. Yeah. Have you ever touched him, Mogi? Um, not physically, but I think I think we've really connected emotionally um, over the last few years that I've been here at Hodaki. Um, and of course, he's been here for eleven years. It's a long time to be doing breakfast. It is. Um, you know, he should be celebrated just for getting up early every day like that. Um, he's sort of like a farmer, but an actual backbone, not just somebody that babbles on about it like the farmers do. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, it's a, yeah, yeah, totally, man. Sure, sure. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree with you. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, actually, I think we've actually got some on this topic. Some massive. 
breaking news that's coming through. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's game. related. Yeah. This is breaking news. Huge news, fellas. Yeah. To do with the station. I've had the phone call. Keezy, Hodaki breakfast. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. I've got some breaking news too. Then. Oh, I you're, you're do, breaking news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh. This is breaking news. Had a shocker of a sleep last night, eh? Oh, is that your breaking news? The oh. missus is crook at the moment. She's got this cough and she's just yeah. barking and barking and barking. So in the end, I had to go and sleep on the couch. So, Well, interestingly, uh, fellas... Well, I just don't see how that's related, but yeah, what? I, too, have some breaking news. Oh, right, OK. This is breaking news. I got a flat tyre today and uh, got the old jack out there. <laughs> Took the tyre off. Put the new one on all by myself. That's how you do it. Oh, well done, Good man. stuff, man. Thank you, man. Thanks, yeah, fellas. Thank you. Oh, sh- Good stuff. Sorry, I've just... Uh, hang on, I've got some more breaking news. This is breaking news. I've been given the sack. Oh. Yeah, because I um, wasn't supposed to talk about it. Yeah. Uh, so it says here, you'll just have to stay on drive. Oh. So, sorry, a bit premature there, everyone. Uh, that's my bad. We've actually already got pugs on. Oh, have you already yeah, got pugs yeah, on yeah. in that sort of 30 seconds? Yeah. That was what I was doing in Who's that 30 pugs, seconds. Who's doing pugs' yeah. job? Oh, well, yeah, it's available. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I have that or do no, I have I to? he'll have to train you out. Oh. Uh, Keezy. Huh? Stay in touch, though, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Tune. This is a tune. This is a tune. Hey, coming up next... I'm going to be speaking to the man himself, fellas. You nervous? You nervous? Yeah, I'm freaking out. Prince, by the way, Purple Rain. The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue, and Kesey. Oh, how good! Tune. They should have re-released the last two minutes of that as its own single, way. Eh? I reckon. God, that's good. So good. It makes me emotional. That song. Prince. Speaking of which, speak, Prince. Yeah, Prince. Speaking of emotions, I tell you what. It's been an emotional old day on uh, Radio Hodaki, and as previously uh, discussed, uh, the legendary broadcaster that it is, uh, Matt Heath, announcing that he's leaving Radio uh, Hodaki and moving on to greener pastures, and he he joins us now on the phone, and Matt, are you legend? Uh, quite seriously, mate, uh, an emotional day for you. Oh, massively. I mean, I've been on at Radio Hodaki for 14 years. Wow. And, uh, Breakfast for 11, I just found out. I didn't know it was 11, but Jeremy told me that today. So it's actually, I've got to say, that's a decent knock um, with, you know, the best radio brand in the world, the best radio station in the world, and oh, um, yeah. with my very good mate, Jerry, and uh, Mashie and Ruda, and um, I've absolutely loved it. So, uh, so yeah, it's emotional, you know? You know, mm. I, I, you know got to go, but don't want to leave, but got to go, but don't want to leave. Yeah, right. Yeah, sure, man. Matt, was it... Was it anything we did, man? Yeah, I just thought you came in to beat me a bit hard in the um, Game of Thrones. Uh, Game of Thrones. Game, Game of Thrones. Two Cars. <laughs> the way you play it, Keezy, it's Game of Thrones. Game of Two yeah. Cars. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that the, 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 the way you looked at me in the grass, I just thought oh, I'm not wanted here wow. or at Hardak anymore. Yeah. And, you know, and so it's you really, Keezy. Oh, and, wow, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm sorry about that, man. And just, you know, it must be... Um, yeah, it's a big thing. You know, you and Jerry together for 11 years, as you say, in breakfast, um, innovators as well, and you're a big part of each other's lives. It's five days a week. It's very early in the morning. It's a, uh, it's a special and unique relationship. And then in the end, that you didn't hesitate and just throwing them under the bus and walking away. <laughs> yeah, just a mere 11 years, eh? Just, uh, you know, just, I, don't, like, I, I feel like, We've said everything we can to each other. But uh, in all honesty, uh, Jerry is just such a lovely human being. 11 years, no arguments together. I loved every bloody second of it. And uh, I'd just say, look, change is the only constant in life, boys. Oh, it's that's true. That's true. That's, that's very philosophical of you, Matt. Yeah, there yeah. is truth in that, um, man. And I know that you guys never argue, but Jesus Christ, there was some backstabbing. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I, I don't mind the backstabbing. It's the front stabbing. I don't yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a bit it's more confrontational. 
Yeah. yeah. In the front, yeah. And now, yeah. And, and now the exciting thing for you, Maddie, is you're off to News Talk ZB. You're going to be at the after, in the afternoons over there. So you are going to be the prebs of News Talk ZB. <laughs> oh, look, that was the whole thing for me. And I'm taking the name as well. It'll be, it'll be Preblo Escobar <laughs> Afternoons on ZB. Um, I'm taking the whole thing, the whole intellectual property from Prebs <laughs> and the playlist, actually. I'm going to be, be a lot, I tell you what, a lot of Red Hot Chili Peppers, a lot of Foo Fighters um, <laughs> on the afternoon <laughs> over at ZB now. Far out. Hey, uh, Matt Heath, Keezy here, man. Hope you're well. Um, <laughs> yeah, screw you. Oh, actually, JC. Just, ever... just, I... just the eyes across the desk on, on Game of Two Hearts. It's like, yeah. yeah, I know what you're saying, man. a long man. time. Yeah, well, I'm sorry about that, Matt. And I mean, we could have a chat off here about it if you want. Um, <laughs> Matty. Oh, 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 now you oh. go. I was just going to say, mate, um, you can expect a few calls from old Hoodie J on your new station there, mate, because uh, there's some things that are really bugging me at the moment. <laughs> and uh, get, get really get stuck in old Hoodie J's craw, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it does, it's mate. Around the, around the bloody council. Yes, the, yeah. The bloody council and the and, and the the rates, mate. The road works. Can I just can I ask you, uh, Matt, how much what percentage of your new show Monday to Friday is going to be you banging on about the new trains being uh, the new railroads being put in? Well, well, you know my initiative around road cones, <laughs> trains, and stuff. Every time someone lays a road cone, they should have to take a road cone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I hear you. You lay one and you take one and turn one. <laughs> hey, Matt, how nice is it going to be? You know, moving over to ZB and not having Jerry just sort of riding your coattails. Well, that, look, that's well put. But just to flip it around a little bit, do you know what it's like to be in a duo? John and Ben are about the same height. You know, I've just been absolutely punished by this tall Adonis and all these pitches. Yeah. But, but for, for too long, just standing there looking like a short little walk warthog by Jeremy Wells. I'm just going to, I'm, I'm looking to stand in a picture and, and look like a normal human being for once. You know what I mean? You're Don't quite- get me started, Matt. <laughs> Don't get me started. Can you imagine what it's like for old Hoity J standing next to that Adonis Moogie with his pecs bulging, his abs protruding, with and Keezy. Hoity J, their height privilege. Yeah, that's uh, Keezy six foot eight or something like that, and old little Hoity J. Yeah. With his gnarled old face, <laughs> wonky knees. <laughs> Why don't they, they should have put us two little warthogs together. Yeah, didn't they? they should have, Matty. <laughs> they missed an opportunity, <laughs> mate. They need to sort it out and do a size ratio thing for the bloody photos. Could me and Hoodie J just look good in a photo together? Yeah, if we were in the photo together, we'd look bloody good instead of these a holes they put us with. Yeah, man. Hey, but seriously, Matty, you've been an absolute legend, mate. You're going to be missed. You're still going to be in the same building and stuff. And as I say, I'll call you all the time. Um, so we'll, we'll no doubt stay in touch, and you'll be over here all the time anyway. But yeah, well, look, hey, look, mate, big big fan. Love you guys. I'll be listening to you as I always do. Love yeah. you guys. Love you. Good man. on Good you, man. Friend. Go well. Go looking well, forward mate. to you coming back for your uh, your victory lap in a week or so, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All bless, right, bless you guys. Well, you bless seem you bless. seem busy, Matt. So we'll let you go, man. <laughs> oh. All right, love you guys. Okay. Love, love you, love man. You, man. Love you, man. So good. He's so good. They're yeah. gathering all the ugly dudes at ZB if you want to go over there, Jace. <laughs> I... Yeah, it's probably a good call, actually, eh? I reckon I'd be really good at talkback. You probably would, actually. Because, you know, how I get fired up about stuff, maybe. Yeah, yeah. And you've got a good history yeah. with talkback. It's no good because it's up on the uh, the second or third floor and you won't be able to have your eyes to the front like you are now, you sick son of a bitch. <laughs> The Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. Yes, indeed. Pearl Jam there on this uh, Wednesday afternoon. Hey, fellas, let's have a bit of golf chat. Golf chat with double bogey mogey. Four! Bloody big day today in the world of golf. Um, Hoity J. Yeah, um, mate. Um, J- Jason Charles Hoyt um, has gone back onto the course for the first time in some 20 years. Uh, it's been a long time out of the game. Uh, the game didn't miss him, but he's come back anyway. And uh, <laughs> Keezy, you took him out there, brother. Talk us, talk us through the whole experience. Okay. 
So we went and played a public course here in Auckland, Chamberlain. Everyone knows it. It's where you go and hack around and no one really judges you, you know? Sure, yeah. Horny Jay's old stomping ground. Yeah. 20 years ago. Wow. Brought back some memories, Mogi. Yeah, I'll tell you that much, mate. So we're up on the first tee there and there's a big line of people waiting. And that first tee is what your first tee jitters. Um, oh, yeah. My mate Guy, who we played with, he teed it off beautiful down the middle, AJ. Yeah, he smashed it, man. Right. And then I teed off even better. Yeah, he smashed it. Right. About five metres away from the green it landed. Um, and then Hoity J got up there and topped it, and it went about 30 metres. Yeah. And then... That's pretty good, though, 30 metres. I went further than 30. No, you thought it did, and then you had to walk back. Oh, yeah, I did too. So where's my ball? I was back there, man. Then he had to drag his trundler back to his ball in front of everyone <laughs> and then hit it again a few times. First hole, he shot nine. Wow. that's a, that, I thought you could only shoot eight. It was a par four. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So he shot nine. Second hole, eight. Yeah. And it's I was getting like, better. Yeah, I was like, here we go. Third hole, par. Par what? Par three. Three, thank you. So there's a video of that up on the wow. Hockey Big Show Instagram right now. Um, and Jace, how do you feel you went, man? Look, I'll be honest with you. I was an abomination, Mogi. Mm. But here's the thing. Um, I knew I was going to be. So I was pretty relaxed about it, actually. Um, <laughs> Still effing and jeffing a lot. <laughs> um, but I, I absolutely loved it. And what I've realised, it has been 20 years since I've played uh, and picked up, you know, the old clubs there. But the biggest difference is that I've aged 20 years. Yeah. And I'm not as flexible and as strong as I used to be. And so, yeah, my swing is just vomitous. Yeah. Uh, And I'm going to have to be one of those players, I think, that plays like an old man and just doesn't go for too much distance, just nice and straight all the time. Yeah, steady as she goes. I was all at sea. I didn't know what I was doing, and my chipping was an abomination. So, but the the problem is... You'd had a pretty damn good shot, and it wouldn't be right next to the hole, and he'd still effing and Jeff. You yeah. know what I mean? And I'm like, no, you should be stoked with that because the last shot you did like that, you bladed it and went way over the green and into the bushes. Mm, mm. So yeah. you, you're still but not. But you're hard, aren't you? You're a hard taskmaster. You're hard on yourself, Jace. But I tell you what, though, um, Keezy's a pretty handy golfer, and the other fella we were playing with, he's a pretty handy golfer, and that's good. That's what I need. I need to play with better players yeah. so that I hopefully lift my game up. But, mate... I loved it. It was yeah. great fun. <laughs> Genuinely, as we're um, putting our cl- clubs away in the car afterwards, he goes, what are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. You were saying he was in tears. He was like that stoked. Yeah, he was. It was yeah. really, really nice That's to see. nice, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good on you, man. And, you know, I thought I was going to be a little more poked after nine holes and I was going to be exhausted, but it was fine. I can do 18, I reckon. It'll be yeah, fine. Right. But, uh, no, it's a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to a few more rounds in the next few weeks, eh, Keezy? Yeah, Keezy, well, rather than recording Joe's getting birdies, can you, um, or pars, can you record him getting, like, five overs? That's what interests me. Well, I... I filmed that, but he said I wasn't allowed to put it on Instagram. Yeah, that's, that's what the people want, man. Yeah, You've got to okay, give the people yeah. what they want. True story. Actually, the first thing he filmed was my magnificent one shot of the day, which was at the par three. Because mm. he'd done a nine and an eight. <laughs> and I was yeah. like, here we go. I'm going to get him getting another eight. And Boom. then he got a par. Beside the pin. Which was annoying. Unbelievable. But, but uh, uh, if anyone out there wants to play around with old Hoity J, 3483, give us a text, yes. man. We'll tee it up. So yeah, I totally. don't have to play with him every time. Someone oh, else. Can. Come on, Keezy. <laughs> The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Pennywise there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Wednesday afternoon. And in ex- uh, other exciting news, Test Cricket is back, fellas. Yay. We're watching it as we speak. New Zealand versus Sri Lanka. Uh, Sri Lanka batting first. I presume they won the toss yeah. uh, and, and did that. And we've got our yeah. first breakthrough. Willow Rourke, uh, the young quick, who I didn't think would be playing in this match. Little caught behind there. Karuna Ratna there, a little edge behind to the keeper. 24-1. Got the left-hander there, didn't he? Just sort of fishing away there. Really could have let it go through to the keeper, but he couldn't help himself. And Willow Rook, what a specimen he is. He's freakishly big. He's got a massive head on him. He's a big head. Um, and he stands around the other players there, and he probably gets shunned in the changing room because he's so weird looking. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Just sort of edge, went in behind there, and... Uh, and they're, they're quick for Willow. Willow, hey, Willow. Keezy, mate. What? And uh, he's out. It's 24 one. Keezy, mate. Sri Lanka. Is this what you're going to do, Keezy, is it? Ruin. 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 No, Ruin. I just wanted to show that My I also excitement. Can... Just on that front, by the way, I did our first BYC podcast in a while, so make oh, sure you woo! go and 
You go and check oh that out as well. God. I'm so and excited. I'm, I'm going home tonight. I'm really excited about this, actually. I'm going you? home and I'm going to watch some Test cricket tonight. Nice, It'll be man. great. It'll be real. Nice. Hopefully it'll still be on. Well, because I think your missus, you're saying, off, off here is going out. She's not going to be she here. Is. So yes. you'll, you'll be able to have the, hold the remote control tonight, Audie J. Totally, mate. Totally. Hey, um, uh, do you like cricket, eh, fellas? Who doesn't, man? Because uh, we've got some breaking Keezy, news. Do you like cricket, man? Yeah. Yep. This is breaking news. Can I just explain? I do like cricket, but I do not love it as much as you two. Okay. Or know as much about it as you guys. Or watch sure. it at all. I used to have to cover it a lot, but now I don't. <laughs> or watch it at all. That's a really good point. I tell you what I do watch. The Black Clash. Fellas, it's returning. The Black oh. Clash is officially back. Hot Springs Spas, T20 Black Clash in association with Wolfbrook. It's heading to Christchurch. January 2025, Saturday the 18th at beautiful Hagley Oval. Bloody beautiful. Yeah, it, it is a lovely place, actually. Yeah, and there's a, they've announced our superstar this uh, this time as well, I believe. Should we do a bit of a drum roll? For yeah, a, sure. Here we go. The one and only Chris Gale. Oh, how exciting. Now, I have to admit, old Brian Lara didn't go great. In the last one. Um, well, allegedly, he was steamed. Do you remember that? He couldn't get his, yes. he couldn't get his helmet on. He, looked, he was off his head, it was, allegedly. It looked like Responsibly. Um, they gave him a six-year-old bloody helmet. They did. You know, and it was tiny. Yeah, I don't know what the story Maybe it would have been a while since he'd picked up a bat. Um, it had been. But, yeah, and that can be the case, you know. you got Chris Gale there, who's how old is he, Keys? He must He's be 44. Wow. Okay, um, but I think he'll still have it in him. Yes, he will. Um, Brian Lara, 55. And he still plays a lot of cricket, doesn't he, Chris Gale, around the world? He still gets out and about and, uh, and has a swing. So He's a bit of a gun for hire, isn't he? He just travels around, has a party. He's a, yes. he's a gun for hire, yeah. Very um, much so, very much so. And he's uh, he's one of the most exciting cricketers in a long time. He has a stripper pole in his bedroom. He's really out there. He calls does, that, does that make him an exciting cricketer? The universe Or exciting boss. something else? Just exciting. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. just an exciting fella to have around. He's a good time guy. He is. You know what I mean? He enjoys yeah. himself. Um, and of course the ACC will be commentating that as per. That's and, right. And you bastards will be in the spa again, won't you? Actually, sorry, before we move off Chris Gale, Keezer, you do a hell of an impression of him, don't oh, you? Oh, that's right! <laughs> oh, that's right. Six! Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me I do that. I forgot I had that. Uh, by the way... There has got to be a hot spring spa once again. We will be in it wearing speedos, and people will win the right to come and sit with us. It sort of feels like house. we've done that already, though. They, it's just going to be you this year, is it? And I'll just bring you guys over some cheese and that, and just put it in the water. No, it'll be what I will say about that last last one, fellas, is that your guys' burnt meat patty nips were a sensation. They were. Yeah, especially Mogies. The problem was that we did have a lot of spillage into that spa. Where there's a lot of food went in there. Not from Keezy and I, from the other fellas that were there. Yes. So it sort of turned into a bit of a soup. It did. Uh, and if you want to be in that soup, mm. keep an ear out because it's going to be happening soon. Also, if you would like to jump into the ACC Export Ultra Zone, it is the the party zone in inverted commas. It is R18. Uh, then head to the black uh, blackclash.co.nz and get on the wait list because it's well, there's limited tickets for that area, but the Black Clash yeah. itself sells out every single every year. Every single year, and every single year it absolutely rules. It yeah. does. It is a great time. The weather um, always plays ball. The crowd always goes off. I'll be honest with you as well. I think Christchurch is generally the more raucous of the two. It's, absolutely. It, goes, it flips between there and Tauranga. Bloody great event. If you can get tickets, get tickets. It's unmissable. Hey, plenty coming up after 5 o'clock, so make sure you stay tuned, New Zealand. The Hauraki Big Show with Jace, Mike and Keezy. Tune in weekdays at 4 on Radio Hauraki. Welcome back, you massive backbones. Hope you're getting through, uh, what's that, hump day? Wednesday. Uh, tickety boo, because you're listening to The Big Show, brought to you by night. Very good news on the cricket front in New Zealand. Another breakthrough. Sri Lanka currently, after winning the toss and batting first, 33 for two. Fjellos. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so him. good. Hey, have you guys heard about milkshakes? Shake it, shake it, shake From it. night and day. They have them and they're delicious. Their milkshakes bring all the boys to the yard. Would you say that that's true? And then you suck them hard? Uh, milkshakes bring all the boys to the yard and then you suck them hard, right? The thick shakes. Or especially the super thick shakes. Everyone, just, just be aware, Mogi's in a weird mood because he's sleepy. 
He just says stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> speaking of which, what is the special today, by the way, uh, Keezy? Uh, it says here they sent it to you. Right. So well, I think it was super thick shakes. Yeah. Oh, is that what it was? just a little asterisk put aside it, and it goes down to the bottom of the container, and underneath you look at it and there's the asterisk, and next to it says, suck it hard. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. Hey, big hour coming up. There is a big hour coming up. Uh, we're going to kick off the hour with a bit of improv. Oh, Big hell. show improv. Wow. Uh, also, crowd favourite. It wow. is crowd favourite, I think. Is it? Three, well, four, eight, three. Pugs, then yes. Yeah, yeah, Pugs loves it. We do it for him. Uh, also, a little later on, your chance to either go heli fishing with three of your mates or heli golfing. Keep an ear out for Would You Rather. Incidentally, uh, by the way, Keezy, were there any texts about people playing with old Hoodie J on the golf course? No, nah, no one's into it. Oh. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Dees is keen to play with you. Dees? Dees nuts. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Hauraki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Radio head there on the radio. Hauraki Big Show this Wednesday afternoon. Uh, Sri Lanka currently 41 for two for those of you that care. But right now it's time for some Big Show improv. Quiet on set. Sound speed. Lights. Camera. Action. Now it's time for the Big Show improv. That's quite professional, isn't it? It's pretty good. Mm. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so here's the scenario, fellas. Keezy, you're Portuguese. What? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, why? How do I do that? Okay, actually, in honour of our big Chris Scale announcement, you're West Indian. Mm. No! Why not? Why not? There's white West Indian people as well, Keezy. No, There's I nothing just, racist about it. No, but I just... Okay, well, why don't you be West Indian? No, well, I'm I'm setting the scenario. Oh, <laughs> no, Jay, just... Here, so you're West Indian. No, I don't know. And you've taken your wife, uh, your partner out. What's for, his name? Uh, Louise. Oh, Louise. Um, Sorry, my name's Louise. No, you're taking your partner, Louise, oh. out on a romantic date. Okay, uh, because you're planning to propose to her. Oh. But to your shock and horror, oh. the food is such an abomination and oh. everything is going terribly badly <laughs> for you that in a rage you demand to uh, see the chef played by the one and only Mogi. All right, fine. I'm not doing a West Indian accent. Ah, oh. oh. okay. okay. Well, you've lost the role. Well. That's a shame. Well, no, this is, I feel like I'm being set up to fail here. Well, no, not at all. Chase, you, you know way. right now that I would get in trouble if I did that. What Fine. about if you imitate Bob Marley? Nah. Okay, well, if you don't... Oh. Okay, you can just have a normal accent. You oh, a, a what's defined normal, Jace, man? Come on. A uh, New Zealand right. accent, all okay, right? Keezy, so okay. you've called for the chef. You're in an absolute rage. Right. Um, your partner, Louise, is really upset. Is this a fancy restaurant? It's a very okay. fancy restaurant, and Mogi, the chef, comes out to have a chat. Okay, all right. Uh, and am I walking out now, am I? Yeah. I come over, this, I come over to the table. All right. Can I help you, sir? Uh, d- yeah, g'day, man. Are you the chef here, are you? Throwing what? Are you the chef here? Throwing what? Are you the chef here? Oh, I'm more the chef here, yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. Just because, um, I'm sorry, I'm on a really romantic evening. Sorry, can you not shout, mate? There's well, people just, here trying to eat. Sorry, I'm fuming. Just then... Keys, he's so enraged that a fleck of food comes out of his mouth and lands on Mogi's massive snores. Listen, mate, the, the issue I'm having is I ordered a steak, I wanted it medium rare. Mm. You've you've burnt the crap out of it. Yeah. It's pretty much inedible. Mm-hmm. You got something on your nose, by the way. Throwing what? You got a, you got something on your nose, by the way. Throwing what? Is there anyone else I can speak to? <laughs> At this stage, your partner Louise starts crying, and uh, this just really sets you off. Are Keezy. you all right, darling? You, what are you doing to your I'm missus? sorry, it was what, just what meant you... to be a special evening, and I. Yeah. Louise. It's just turned horrible. No, yeah. it, Louise. What's the, oca- I, I just what's the occasion? Home. What's oh, the occasion? He wanted to take me out on a romantic night, and. It's just gone horrible. I just want to go home now. I can see he's got a ring in his hand down here, eh? Hang on, mate. Look, look you've already ruined my steak. Don't also ruin what can might... I, can I just say a word of advice, darling? What's your name? Louise. You don't want to marry a bloke like this who's got this kind of a temper, eh? Oh, look, I'll tell you right now, never in a million years. Well, hang on, Louise. We need to talk about this privately. 
All right. I I'm just want to go, Chris. Do you want to go home with me? Because I've been fired. I've been making a shocking job of cooking the steaks tonight. See, I told you. <laughs> he's been terrible. And seen. Oh, <laughs> really good. That was great, man. Really? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Can I just, just a few observations. <laughs> I feel like, <laughs> I feel like, um, and I don't want to question his judgment because he's a very experienced actor. But I feel like a lot of Mogi's characters <laughs> that he's playing are starting to, like, are they from the same family? Or what's the thing co- about it is, man, like, for example, you get Al Pacino. Al Pacino is very much himself in every movie. Very much. Robert De Niro. Same thing. The list goes on. Um, so I can't help uh, what character comes out of me when I get into the thing. I feel like you can. Next, <laughs> next time it might be different. I don't know. I hope so. Okay. <laughs> Right, how do you think I went, Jase? Because I, I felt furious there. Yeah. I think the only thing that could have improved it really was a Jamaican accent. Yeah. Western, yeah. Oh, God. Oh. And also, can you stop hitting on my missus in every scene we do, please? She is a smoke show, bro. You're lucky I didn't bring out the rage yet. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's lucky you didn't bring out your rage yet, Jase. The Horaki Big Show Podcast. Radio Horaki. Would you rather? Heli fishing or heli golf? Let's find out what this great New Zealander would choose. Yes, indeed. Uh, two good options there, fellas. Uh, heli golf, heli fishing. I'd be happy with either one. Hell yeah. I would be happy <laughs> with either one. <laughs> <laughs> so good, mate. That's how we do it. Every time. We um, get the T-shirts. I'd be stoked with either one, but I'd prefer heli golf. And, of course, both are provided thanks to Heli Trans Helicopters. Let's get into it, shall we, fellas? Carl, you mad bastard. How's life? G'day, fellas. How's it going? Yeah, good, thanks, good, mate. mate. Uh, tell me, Carl, what do you do for a crust? Uh, just a builder. Oh, oh, hey, hey, backbone. backbone! Massive backbone. Not just a builder, mate. A builder, all right? <laughs> you yeah, massive true. backbone. Um, now, Carl, which would you rather, heli fishing or heli golf? Oh, it's got to be the heli fishing. Yeah, uh, yeah I, the for vast them. majority of people are keen on the fishing, aren't yes. they? The vast majority. Well, because think of it, you'll probably catch quite a bit because uh, they go to great locations. Or nothing. Or nothing, and you've got all yeah. the snapper and stuff, Carl, to take home and yeah, fill it up, yeah, mate. Yeah, Beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Good yeah. stuff, mate. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll chuck you across to Poxon in Studio yeah. B, and he'll look after you. All right, mate? Uh, cheers, fellas. Good, good on, on you, mate. mate. G'day, Scotty, you mad bastard. How's life? Oh, hey, fellas. Good, thank you. Yeah, good ah. on you, mate. On your way home, are you, Scotty? Yeah, just heading home. Yeah, good on you, mate. What do you do for a crust? I'm um, a mechanical engineer. Oh, oh backbone. Backbone. backbone! Scotty, is that a French accent I can hear? Uh, it's part Scottish. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Okay, well, same thing. Well, we all, we all know what he's going to choose, right? What are you going to choose there, Scotty? Uh, it's got to be fishing, mate. Oh, yeah. Hey. yeah, boy. I got thought, him. you know, St Andrews, the home of golf. Because I think I'll yeah. fight. No, you go, Scotty. Uh, I'd, I'd love to spend some time on the uh, on the course with you, Jace, but I'm um, sorry, it's got to be the fishing. Nice. Yeah, good on you, Scotty, mate. Uh, because the vibe was, uh, fellas, that maybe golf would prevail, but I'm getting the feeling that fishing is at the it's moment. It's not even close. Yeah. Scotty, hold the line, mate, and uh, Pugs on in Studio B will sort you out. G'day, Josh from Wellington. How's life, you mad bastard? G'day, mate. It's not too shabby, mate, yourself? Yeah, yeah good, thanks. How's, good, how's that beautiful welly today? Oh, mate. Couldn't be better. Good on uh, you, mate. Right yeah, so good, good on you. What do you do for a crust, Josh? Uh, not a heck of a lot at the moment, mate. Just on the old dole. Oh, oh, backbone! Good on you, brother. Best years of my life on the dole. I've got to be honest with you, Josh. Best years life. All right, Josh. <laughs> Having said that, would you like heli fishing or heli golf? I'll stick with the trend and I'll go for the uh, heli fishing there. Yeah, good on you, Good on you, mate. Good, good on you, good Josh. Stuff, yeah. mate. I'll chuck you over to old Pug Sun and he'll... Uh, He'll sort you out. And, so it's uh, interesting. Everyone's choosing the heli fishing today, all three. Just going to remind everyone what, what you're actually getting. So the heli fishing, uh, you could be catching snapper, kahawai or king. Mogi, stop showing pictures of a downstairs you drew to everyone, all right? Uh, you will go fishing off Great Barrier Island, all the, the gear included, top quality reels, rods, tackle, bait, everything nice. like that. Bring home a big one for dinner. But 
the golfing, which is what mm. I'd like to Not do. Not as big as the one Mogi drew. Choppering <laughs> in, smashing 18 <laughs> holes on Auckland's west coast at Muriwai Golf Links, which is a beautiful course. Helicopter flights, of course, green fees, golf carts, beers, burgers afterwards, you and three mates. Yeah. Sounds good. Should we do that on the weekend, Keezy? Yeah, let's do that at the weekend. Yeah, you and me. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and another chance, of course, get yourself in the draw tomorrow. Fellas, do you want a quick would you rather question? Yes, please. Sure, man. All right. You're in a room full of spiders. Mm. Full of spiders. It's full to the brim with spiders. I what? can't breathe. There's so many no, spiders. No, no, no. Like, am I standing on them and no, stuff? No, 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 yeah, there's spiders everywhere. There's what am I wearing? You know that there's spiders everywhere. You're just wearing what you're wearing now, so that weird hoodie and that brown hat. Um, would you rather the lights on or off? Mm. You've got to stay in there for, on. A, for an hour. On. You want to see all the spiders. Off. Yes, and I want to know when I can you know, crunch them. Off. Off for you? Yeah. Interesting, isn't it? Isn't I, it? I go on. You do? I want to see the spiders. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and you went off, eh? Yeah, I don't want to see the spiders. Yeah, wow, and you went on, eh, Jace? On, yeah. So you want to see the spiders. Yeah, man. That's crazy. You went on, eh, Keezy? Yeah, I'm, I am now. Did you? I remember you saying when you were a little fella, you got a stiger. A, a, a stiger. You, you screwed it up. A, you run out of time. You run out of time. <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Queens of the Stone Age there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Wednesday afternoon. The time is exactly 10 minutes to 6 o'clock in Sri Lanka. Currently 55 for 2. Those are the stats, fellas. And speaking of stats, we've come across some very interesting stats regarding the Warriors, fellas. That's right. Uh, so great New Zealander Sophie Acklin, um, she took some time over the last couple of days to put together every single Warriors commentary of the season and yes. which member of the Mad Monday ACC crew was doing each game. Right. She then did the maths around how many games uh, were losses, how many were wins. There was one draw against Manly and then figured out who had called the most losses. Hmm. Right? Yes. So win-loss percentage for each of the commentators. Was there a minimum amount of games that we're doing here? Well, look, let's just, well, the pants man, Joel Harrison, who's also our web guy, um, and uploaded a photo of me proposing to my wife and then used that for a social campaign and didn't ask me about it earlier today. Um, he did two games and it was they were both wins. Yeah. Right. So he's, he's, two games, two games, not enough. And no. can I just say, though, Pants Man does a great job. No, oh, he's very funny. Yeah, yeah. So, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. I'm massively into the pants, man. Yeah. Um, obviously, except for when he uses photos of me right. and my wife for that. Asking. And he's yeah, always yeah. posting photos of me and my massive snores as well, which, yeah. I, you know, I'm not a fan of. But he's too scared to post one of Mogi, which yeah, is he doesn't yeah, do anything, yeah. does he? Yeah, because he goes, yeah. oh, he just might get a bit upset. And I'm like, do it. <laughs> he's got the second biggest honker. Do it. <laughs> so he's 100%. He's 100% win record. Yeah. He's two from two. The next is Hurley. Ben Hurley did six games. Yes. All right. So I feel like that's a statistical, now we're working with something. Yeah, you know sure. what I mean? Yeah. So uh, Hurley called six games, four of which were wins. Oh, wow. Pretty good. One of which was a draw. Wow. 66%? 66%. Yeah, man. And to be honest, I mean, the draw almost bumps that up a wee bit, you know, because it wasn't a loss, you know, so maybe it's 75%. I don't know. No, 66%. 66%. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty Just good Just floating it out there. Sure. Just floating it out there, fellas. It's all good. Next, Manaya. He called 12 games, three of which were wins. Three. That is that's appalling. Half, that's half of the season. That's right. Uh, when you're taking into account the buys. 25%. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. So he, he's a 25% win record. Jesus, that's, that's appalling. That is shockingly bad. Now, Di Henwood, because he's a massive backbone, he did the most 13. Oh. Six of those were wins. Oh, okay, yes. that's pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. Six were losses, one was a draw. Mm-hmm. So he's pretty much bang down the middle. Yeah, the official, we'll give him 50%. Well, the official is 46%, but, yeah, sure. it's pretty much 50-50. Yeah. You don't get more 50-50 than that. I called 12, Yeah, two of which were wins. Yeah, that's not good. Two. Hmm. What's that then, like 13%? 16. 16. 16%. 12 games, two of which were wins. Hmm. What's well, that about? I've, I've got to be honest with you, Keezy. Because as the season was going along and I was aware and I listened to your commentaries and stuff. <laughs> oh, um, really? It was something that was beginning to concern me. And you yeah. were making the point, Mogi, I think, that next season the biggest priority for the Warriors in terms of improving their season is to make sure that Keezy's not calling the game. And that's not to be nasty. That's not a personal attack. Well, it feels like it I, is. I, and, it, and it should feel like that. But that's not what it is, Keezy. When you look at it, 
um, completely from a uh, an impartial point of view. Sure. Um, when we played, the amount of commentators curses that you laid on, <laughs> it was it was it's like nothing I've ever seen before. It was like you had more commentators curses per game. Um, than some of the best halfbacks in the game would have try assists. It was unreal. You would literally well, speak and you'd that. say, oh, look at this. Yeah, now nah, we're all over them in defence here. Bang, Bang, line break, 70-metre yeah, yeah. try. It was, I mean, it's a skill. Well, it's not a it's skill. Not one I mean, you I, can, it's not one you can you know, well, use just, to any great effect in, or in that com- you would want. Hang on. In comparison, can I make the point? I've been commentating cricket for, I don't know, like 10 years. No. Never once have I had a commentator's curse. Well, not that's once. not true. They call in it to 10, it. Ten years, Keith. Not one commentator. Sorry, curious. I was going to say they call it doing a Jason Hoyt, but that's when you commentate a replay and think it's happening live. That's not a commentator's curse. No, though. it's not. <laughs> but can I just say I don't impact the game. I'm just speaking. Well, the what numbers I'm don't lie, Keith. No, I know. The which is really annoying lie. because sixteen percent. You would expect, um, you know, it's, it's it can't be a statistical anomaly when you're dealing with those kind of numbers. It should be fifty fifty. Like die. You know, it's like if you toss a coin 13 times, is that how many yeah. times you commentated? You're not going to only get it heads twice. It's so not going to happen. So I did it 12, whereas Dye did 13. Exactly. And he, he tossed the coin 13 times, six of which were heads, six were tails, and one it landed straight up. The only thing that has been removed from those common, uh, common te- games where Dye has commentated is you doing your commentator's curse. I would like to know how many of your 13 uh, games were with Dye's right. games. Because I think there's probably a correlation He's between the losses. Dyes. Thank you. Yes. The losses that Dye suffered were probably because your power as a commentator's cursor overpowered his ability to commentate. Yeah, and, and produce you positive results. Absolutely corrupted his score. What I suggest for you <laughs> is that maybe you and Pantsman look to do some commentaries together. I think you guys need to go back to the lower grades. I think you guys need Actually, to start. Yeah, I think out. you should be Just. dropped. Yeah, you could start doing your basketball next season, um, commentating that because you're on the bench anyway. So Mike, it gives you something to do. Look, Mike, I get it. You're upset. You're a Warriors fan, and I see you're just trying to find a way for you know to help the Warriors improve. Jace, you're my agent. You shouldn't be in support of me getting dropped off commentaries, man. You need to be in there arguing for me. And yet, sadly, I am. <laughs> Uh, up after 6 o'clock, what's for tea in New Zealand? Text us 3483 what you are having for dinner and you could win a $50 night and day voucher. The Hauraki Big Show with Jace, Mike and Keezy. Tune in weekdays at 4 on Radio Hauraki. Welcome back, you massive backbones. Hope you're getting through your Wednesday okay. You're listening to The Big Show, brought to you by night and, and day. day. By the way, oh no, we've already done it. What's that? Just gonna yeah, say, we've already done that. We're going to talk about milkshakes. No, we've done that. But we've done it. We've mentioned you've about milkshakes. There, you've been there. You've done that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it's all good. Yeah, well, it's all we good. might we might have new audience that haven't heard that, Keezy. Do they oh, okay. do caramel flavour, man? Caramel yes. flavour? They do. Great. Okay. True story. When I was a young fella, I had a caramel milkshake. It made me so sick that I can't ever eat caramel again. I think caramel's a foul brew. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Um, there was something about this caramel milkshake that wasn't right. Isn't it interesting how both of you don't like one of the most delicious things to, no, mo- to a lot to of people? You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like caramels, but I don't like caramel flavoured things like that. Right. I would never, ever in a million years pick. Correct. Caramel is the flavour of my super vanilla, thick suck it hard shake. Vanilla or chocolate? It's pretty simple. Don't don't go outside those two. Now listen in the podcast outro. Can today, I say what mine is? Uh, banana or something weird. Banana. Yeah, nice. Um, in the podcast outro There's today, some blueberries in it. Uh, which is the little chat we have before we start the radio show, it's kind of like a warm up. But we're a bit more casual, a bit more R eighteen sometimes because uh, we don't have to have standards. Um, wow, I do. Today we discuss. Jace, every day you do this and you try and remember what we discuss. <laughs> I, and I can't. I've got it written down in front of me what, what it was. What was it? Uh, this is a little clip that Pugsan's made. This comes out at 7 30 tonight, by the way, uh, of your cute little pet names. All right. I can't remember the last time my wife used my name. Usually it's just like loser hey, or. F- face. Yeah. yeah. Idiot. Needle. Um, d- yeah. Yeah. Needle, <laughs> droopy, um, <laughs> so good, man. Oh, it's cute, isn't it? God, I want to listen to that. It's yeah, man. Um, if you want to find out what our partners call us, make sure you check out that yeah, podcast. Like, subscribe, and leave us a review, would you? Yeah, totally, Actually, man. do that. Um, and to find it, just search Hodaki Big Show wherever you get your potties from. Best of the day's show and a bonus pod 
out every night at 7.30 p.m. P- Pugsan, Podsan, works Pugsan, hard on those. Yeah. yeah, good stuff. Hey, also text in 3483, what's for Team New Zealand? Let's get back to the tunes. Oh, Blind oh, Melon. Blind oh, Melon for oh, you. Oh, oh, oh. The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Green Day there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Wednesday evening. Let's talk tea. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. Text here from Steve. <laughs> What's for tea, New Zealand? Zealand? With me, Keezy. Can I just say it's getting quite cold in here? It is. Yeah. I mentioned that before. I'm getting very nipply. You guys have to put some sweaters on, huh? Yeah. Um, something that's been really annoying me lately, right, is we'll order like a food box and we'll order it for four people, me and my wife. Wow. And then we will have a delicious lunch the next day. For some reason, my wife recently has stopped eating the yummy lunch the next day because she doesn't feel like it. Yeah. And so now I have a situation where I have some yummy food in the fridge, but I still have to make dinner tonight. It's, no, yeah, it's just it's it's not annoying on. me. It's not on. And a similar thing happens around at our joint. Yeah. And then it sort of gets put in the fridge. I'm not eating sort of that food at the moment. And then it just sits there. You think, oh, that'd be a good option for lunch. But I think my wife gets um, lunch at work. Right. You see? And it's just it's such a waste, Keezy. This is the thing. My wife's really good with that stuff. She's really good at eating leftovers for lunch at work. Is that one of the things she's good at? Yeah. Uh, one of the many, many things sure. she's eating good at, food at work. eating leftover uh, food at work. You yeah. know, whereas I'll, I'll like never do that. I'll buy stuff for Hoity J. Yeah, for old Hoity J. I'm not eating second hand food. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's just something that's annoying me at the moment. Well, it's not really annoying me, to I'm be w- fair. I'm with your wife on this. What, you're pro ordering heaps of food and then not eating it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, lots of texts coming in, guys, on 3483 flooding in. Which is, in. which is Absolutely really exciting. Pouring in. G'day, fellas. Tonight I'm having butterf- Oh, G'day, fellas. Simon here. Oh, Simon says. Simon Barnett. Cool. What's his name? Simon, Simon Mannering. Who's the guy, Simon, from the talent shows? Uh, Simon, Simon Cowell. Cowell, Cowell yes. Oh, Cowell. It's Simon Cowell. Oh, wow. Tonight, Simon. Good guess, Jace. Thanks, man. Tonight, Simon Cowell is having a butterfly chicken with gratin potatoes for tea. Beautiful. I think people are just saying that because they know Jace likes it. Oh, you like your gratin potato, potatoes, gratin. don't you? I do like a gratin. Yeah. And I, I remember I like... there was a time when you said that you just have the gratin on its own and well, nothing else. Maybe with a little side salad. <laughs> with a little side salad. Um, <laughs> and also, I'm, I'm a big fan of the butterfly chicken as well. Generally, they're very marinated and you just roast them there. You and cook you... the shit out of That's them. That's good. It's yum. Do you want? I, I like that. I'd like to you see like some. That? I'd like some greens in that meal, though, please. Yeah, you like Simon. that? You like that? I like. You that. love it, eh? Mm. Um, when you cook a roast chicken, do you want it to be just a touch pink, like a, the lightest faint pink? Nah, I'm massively no. paranoid with chicken. I don't muck around with it. Right. I had like just it's just the lightest hint of it, and no. it was so succulent and beautiful. Well, of course, the key to cooking a good roast chicken is shoving a lemon in its jacuzzi there, because then it'll be you can cook the it's crap called a out of cloaca. it, uh, and it'll um, keep it the the flesh moist. Yeah, yeah. Keep so, boiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't overcook a chicken with a lemon up its ass. That's really? true. Mm. Ask any ask any chicken. Right, I will yep. next time I see one. Yep. Um, but the butterflies, obviously, you can't shove it up the No, not jacuzzi. for a butterfly. No, obviously. Butterflies don't work. The old hot tub. <laughs> um, so many texts coming in on 3483. I'll read another one. G'day, fellas. I'm on my way home from a long day of work with my dad. I'm an apprentice, but I still go to school. I'm year 10. I have no clue what's for dinner. Well, that's not. That doesn't that's count. Not even the, by that. What else you got? Don't ever waste our time with that kind of nonsense again, Keezy. G'day, fellas. Jim here. Oh my God, Jim Morrison. Carey. It's Carey. Jim Carey. Oh, is it Carey or Jim? No, it's Jim Morrison. Oh, it's Jim Morrison. Um, Hang on. Is he? Uh, tonight I'm having pan seared salmon. Nice. On potato mash, capers, oh. horseradish, cream cheese, and a delicious red wine jus. Too much going on there. Yeah, there's there is too much going on there. That was working for a while, and yeah. then he went cream cheese and and jus. I'm not sure about a mashed potato with a the fish. salmon. Yeah, yeah. generally not, no. not. I'd go a gratin for that, no. uh, Mogi. Yeah, but you yeah. just gratin everything though, Jay. So that's not yeah. the Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue, and Keezy. Yes, indeed, the cure there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this uh, Wednesday evening. Let's talk TV. 
What's on the telly with Mike Minogue. Yes! Yes! Woo! Oh, so good, fellas. Really good. Pretty nice moments in there, Jace. There were, there were stuff, nice mate. moments, mate. It's too long, eh? No, it was perfect. What did Perfect. you watch, Mogi? Uh, I watched another episode of Bad Monkey Baby on Apple TV starring Vince Vaughan, uh, Scott Glenn. Who else is in it? No one else, really. Uh, good show. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Yes. Thoroughly enjoy it. Recommend it. Apple TV. Get into it. Comedy drama. Comedy mystery. Comedy uh, mystery. Mm. Now, fellas, I don't know if this happens to you very often, but it happens to me quite often, and this is what I'm, uh, this is what it is. Oh, is Ladies it, oh, throwing themselves it, at you. Is it a duck? Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, yeah. Is it a duck doing poos in your lounge? Uh, no. <laughs> It's not that. Uh. It is when you watch a series with your partner and then about no midway, ass. you know, about midway through the series, your wife goes, I'm not into this anymore. I hate that but so you, much. But you're still into it yourself. Oh. I hate that. Um, what do you do in that situation? And she's like, oh, well, you can just watch it. I, yeah. I don't mind. I, you just watch. I'll do something else. And it's yeah. like, well, you know, part of it is that we were watching it together kind of thing. That's yeah. the thing, yeah, absolutely. And I'll be like, hey, should we watch that uh, that sixth episode of this? And my wife will go, no, nah, I'm not in the mood for that tonight. And it'll stay like that forever. Right. Yes. Yeah. And so I've, yeah. I've not seen the end of a lot of stuff, mm. um, like talk back. But I was, um, for example, the, uh, the old man I was watching last night, right? Uh, which I really like. Uh, but then, it, hang on, is that a TV show? It's a TV show oh, on, okay. on Disney. Uh, really, really good. But then, in this last episode I watched, there were a couple of moments when you went, "Oh, that's stupid. Oh, oh no. that's dumb. Ah. That's that. That is a, you're stretching it there. It's not true to the characters. Well, it's yeah. It's just conveniences that, oh, yeah, you know, and you go, no, no. But I'm still loving it, and I still highly recommend it. Except I think your wife like doesn't it. want to watch it. Yeah, she, yeah. She, she's out. She got to the point where she got. She said, oh, you know, I'm, I'm feeling a bit like a deer brain because I don't really, I'm not really following it anymore. Is there, is there a possibility that you could watch it during the day while you've got the builders and the plumbers there working and you've got nothing to do? You yeah. could just watch TV and tell them to keep it down? Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, I might do that tomorrow. <laughs> so she doesn't like it. You have stopped liking it, but you're still recommending it. No, I, I still like it. And she it's not that she doesn't like it. She's just kind of lost track of it. Yeah, right. Do you love and, it? and the thing is, if she wasn't on Instagram so much, that wouldn't happen. Ooh. Oh, shot there across the bow. There we go. The real point of yeah, things. Yeah, uh, thank can, you. Can I just say this about my wife? God, I love her. Yeah, mm. despite everything. <laughs> it's not what you were saying off here. Um, <laughs> Keezy. I was watching Celebrity Treasure Island last <laughs> night, and... The two people, there's two teams, and the one person on one team and the other person on the other team that uh, everyone wants to get rid of, both politicians. Right. Isn't that interesting? Because mm. they don't trust them. Mm. Funnily Everyone's enough. Everyone's like, I think they're up to something on both teams. I, watched, they, a right? of, I watched that yes. a bit today when I got back from us playing golf, and oh, my yeah. wife was watching it because she's a big fan. Ah. And I had the Suzanne Paul Millen Beard face off. Yeah, yeah. I hated it. Right. TVNZ Plus, though, uh, another episode tonight. Can't wait. I'll watch that with my wife. I didn't hate it. It was all right. The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue, and Keezy. Soundgarden there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this uh, Wednesday afternoon. Now, listen up, New Zealand, because this is amazing. The Big Show, big proposal, fellas. This is a big one, man. I mean, I wish this was around when I proposed to my wife. Mm. It would have saved me all sorts of cash. I mean, being really romantic. Yeah. Totally. I love love, fellas. You said that yesterday. Do you still love it? Yeah, I've thought about it overnight and I think I do. Cool, man. So love we- makes me feel woozy. Woozy with love, though, right? Yeah. Uh, that's why we've teamed up with Diamonds on Rich- Richmond. That's why. That is why, that feeling right there. Uh, we've teamed up with Diamonds on Richmond and we've got a $10,000 diamond engagement ring to give away to one lucky backbone. <laughs> That's nice. Now, Man. someone came up to me the other day and was like, hey, Keezy. I love you. Can I propose to my husband? A woman. Of course Absolutely you can. You can. Of course. At no point does it say you have to be a dude. You can be whoever the hell you want, proposing to whoever you want, and Diamonds on Richmond Well, we you had um, somebody text in and say, what happens if I'm a lesbian? Fill your boots. Well, then you still go to hodaki.co.nz and you get yourself in the draw. You could yeah. get that 10 grand engagement ring. Uh, the winner also gets the assistance of us here at The Big Show to help pull off and, their dream proposal. And seriously, yeah. fellas, like I said yesterday, how do you value that? 
Hey, I know, that's, right? That, that is, is yeah. invaluable. If I had to choose between the two, I'd choose us helping. Same. Now, as part of this competition, where you head to hodaki.co.nz and you get yourself in the draw there, you have to fill out a bit of a little uh, a little form, oh, including it's only short, telling us how you would like to propose to your partner. Yes. This one here is from Anonymous. I get down on one knee on the best right uh, night. Oh, God. Oh, the best right. She's not going to do it now. That doesn't make any sense. Or he. Tell them to refill that form out because that, that is a shock. Sorry, yeah, they did they... actually and they redid it. Okay, good. I'd get down on one knee. Which one? Right before sunset with Mount Taranaki as a backdrop and a precisely placed secret photographer. And a little, uh, what are those things you have for duck hunting? Oh, moi moi. A moi moi. moi, moi. Yeah. Yes. A fui fui. Uh, that's someone anonymous's uh, plan for a proposal. Right. That's quite romantic. I like it. You know. I don't yeah. know about the photographer. Yeah, I, I prefer it to be private. But yeah. yes, that's all. But you got to capture it. They love that because there's always Who's they? the risk that she, well, yeah, my she wife, or he says fair. no. You know what I mean? Well, you got to document it. Yeah, yeah. G'day, fellas. My partner is a bit of an astronomy buff, so I was planning on taking her down to Tekapo for a weekend away and stargazing. I've done Looking that. Looking at some stargazing in the buff. Because oh. astronomy buff. Yeah, in the so you buff. So look at some stars in the buff. That is lovely. And you say you bath or buff? Buff. 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 Yeah, 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 in yeah, the yeah. buff. And they might have a bath. And to be fair, I've done stargazing at Tekapo. It's beautiful. That's that's great. That's really good. I like it. What about this one? G'day, flowers. Anonymous here. Again. Finding a bloody good Airbnb to propose at, of course, with Hodaki playing in the background. Oh, no, I think we need to be more in the foreground than the background. Crank it up. I'm not comfortable with being in the background, Jace. Fair call, man. Um, you turn up at the Airbnb. Um, we're already there. Steamed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, <laughs> hodaki.co.nz. Get yourself in the draw for that. And remember, if you are planning on dropping an ad anytime soon, you want a stress free, easy way to buy an engagement ring, visit diamondsonrichmond.co.nz. And if you do it before the 25th of October, say the fr- secret phrase, my wife, and they will the pay the cheese. what says. Say the secret <laughs> phrase, Mogi, my wife, and they will pay the GST for you. The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue, and Kesey. Well, there you go, you mad bastards. That's your Wednesday show. Hump day, fellas. Hump day out of the way. It's a busy day. It's been a busy day. There's a lot going on today. Mogi... I'm picking a very early night for you. you. You had a shocker of a sleep last night, and uh, you need some rest. I was going to go to the gym straight after this, nah. but I'm a bit buggered, man. To no, be honest with you, I want to go five days in a row, but I might just go. I might just go home and go to sleep. I am buggered all of a sudden. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I know yeah. what you mean. Yeah. Uh, Keezy, what are you up to, mate? Uh, tonight, I'll be watching another episode of Celebrity Treasure Island with my wife. Um, we're supposed to be hosting a sports quiz tonight, but. It was cancelled. No ticket sales. No eh? ticket sales. Found out old Keezy was involved and everyone pulled out. <laughs> so no, the, the night's wide open now. So that's nice when you have a surprise. Yeah. Should we have another night. round of golf? Why don't you just relax a bit on the old golf there, man? We and, should play uh, the night, Keezy. Uh, <laughs> night golf. To be fair, at one stage I was so into it. I was like, why isn't there night golf? Yeah. yeah With that'd lights. Be, that'd be stupid. Yeah. What are you um, doing, Jace? Well, interestingly enough, my wife um, is having dinner with me. Is having dinner with mates tonight. Right. And she's left me the chicken burgers we were going to have the night before for me to cook when they get home tonight. Can I ask you why you started that um, sentence with interestingly enough? I don't know why. Yeah. Because yeah, that's that's not needed. Um, <laughs> no. My <laughs> wife is going out with friends for dinner tonight, and so I'm Where just going to chill out. Uh, the, they go to each other's houses. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. So, so like one night they came to our house and then they went to another person's house yeah, and I then understand. another person's you know, house. So, yeah. yeah, I probably didn't need to say that. You know what I mean? Well, interestingly so, enough, ex- no, you didn't. Uh, uh, explain it all. But I tell you what, I'll be early to bed too, Mogi. Good on you, mate. Uh, Can you text me when you get into bed? Sure. Just so I know you're there, okay, and you've made it safely? With a pick? With a pick, preferably, yeah. you know. Yeah. I'll put it on the group chat, but listen. Nah, just, just personal. Um, it's been a pleasure bringing you the show. Make sure you check out the podcast. Also, check out our Instagram account. Till tomorrow. See you later. Bye. Okay.